Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we studied about access O data, how to access the data from access O data, create, read, update or delete the records from the HANA database table using access O data. But today we are going to learn about access JavaScript service. What is access JavaScript service? It is a type of access service from HANA which lets the user to read the data from a database table or a views or a procedure and it also provides the flexibility to write the record into the HANA database table and delete a particular record or update a particular record. So the difference between this XSJS service and access O data service is that XSJS provides the programming flexibility where you can write your own JavaScript code and manipulate the information which you gather from either the user or a database artifact like the table or views. So that is the first advantage of the JavaScript coding in XSJS file. The second advantage you get by using XSJS service is that you can call the weather APIs and get all the information related to the current weather condition in particular areas like a London or UK or in Bangalore. So that kind of flexibility the XSJS service gives. And the third important feature that you can use out of XSJS service is jobs scheduling. You can schedule a job for XSJS service which you may choose to run every 5 minutes or 10 minutes or every second or every day or every year and that service will be repeated again and again. So that is a use of job scheduling and you can use job scheduling option in your XSGS service. So now we will talk about the steps to create an XSGS service. At first I will give you an overview about how I am going to approach in creating XSGS service. I am going to explain you the step by step manner what I am going to do to create an XSGS service and then let's start developing an XSGS service in our HANA studio. So these are the steps to create an XSGS service and at the first step I am going to create an empty XSGS service and show you how to create your own XSGS service. In the second step I am going to return a message from our XSGS service specifying the current user who is using the XSGS service. And in the third step I am going to explain you what are the HTTP methods and how to make use of the get post delete update methods in XSGS service. In the step four, I am going to read the records from the customer's table and I am going to return the results from the customer table to the user. In the step five, I am going to use the input parameters from the user and I will use that parameter in our XSGS service to filter the record. In the step six, I am going to explain you how to call a procedure in our XSGS service, how to pass an input parameter to our procedure and how to read the records which is the output parameter from the procedure and return that result to the user. And in the step 7, I am going to demonstrate to you how to insert the records to the customer's table and demo it to you. And in the step 8, I am going to update a particular record in the customer's table return the status of update statement to the user and in the step 9 I am going to tell you how to delete a particular record from the database table. So now let's get started on the step 1 in creating XSGS service. 